last week we talked about the peers theory and tabs. If you haven't checked it, please click the video up here. Today we'll continue peers, talking some experience and the common problem. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. The actual effect of two perforation methods is shown in the figure. In most cases, the quality of gradual piers is better than the blasting. But mostly, there will be cooperation between them in actual cutting, especially with two or three stages piers. If we were freshmen to fab laser carting and don't have any experience in peer skills, how can we tell when to use peers and what stage peers we should take? We can apply a parameters list just like the video up here. You can take it for a reference or we can ask help from engineers of the factory. But now I would like to share some simple dividing lines which can help us choose a more suitable perforation method faster. If the machine power is less than 3000 watt, 6 to 12 mm is capable to use two-stage piers, which is the first piers is kind of blasting and second gradual piers. More than 12 mm is suggestive to use three-stage piers, and the first should be blasting piers, the second and third should be gradual piers, which we can set the duty cycle less than 50. If it's around 6,000 watt, we can apply two-stage piers for 12 to 16 mm and three-stage piers for 16 mm and above. There is no definite saying about what to use peers. We can also make trying if not sure on the peer stage. If cutting is not completed well at first, we can try first stage peers. If still poor, get two stage and then three stage. But attention here, the multiple stage here we mentioned are mostly used for cutting carbon steel, which oxygen is the auxiliary gas. Commonly, one stage piers is okay for cutting stainless steel, aluminum, brass, etc. by compressed air or nitrogen gas. What problem is the most common in piers? Probably it should be the blast hole. It's much easier to be triggered when cutting 6mm more metal. If there were blast holes, it may lead to incomplete needs cuts or unstable follow-up of the cutting head. The reasons of blast holes could be 1. Duty cycle is set much louder. 2. Oxygen air pressure is much higher. 3. Frequency is set to be much louder. 4. There is no stop blowing or the blowing time is too short between multi-stage perforations. We can see the comparison between the normal perforation and the blast one. Here, we would like to offer some suggestive ways to improve the perforation quality. First, we can increase the setting in the peak power so that the perforation efficiency could be better. Second, under the premise of ensuring the laser beam is in center, we can lower down the focus as close as to the mental surface. Third, to set the oxygen pressure of piers similar to the cutting one. Or we can change the oxygen gas to compressed air. Fourth, to raise the stopping blowing or the blowing time between multi-stage perforations. Fifth, to reduce the blowing pressure. It will cut down the piers time so that there will be less blast. We can check the comparison between the different parameters set in peers.
have shared a lot on peers. Do you have other questions on peers of Faber Laser Karting Machine? Please write it in the comment below. We can learn together. Thank you for joining me here today. Please don't forget to subscribe me. Your support will encourage me to upload more videos. Thank you. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.